First at 11, areas across the PD continue to feel the impacts of Debbie days after it made landfall. Thank you for joining us at 11, everyone. I'm Edward Moody. And I'm Trish Willover. That includes Fork Wretch Wildlife Refuge in Mullins, where flooding is affecting its operations. News 13's Adriana Lawrence spent the afternoon there and got a first-hand look at the storm's impacts. Right now, you can see I'm standing in about a foot deep of water, but in some parts, it goes all the way up to your thigh. Now, the refuge says this is the third time it's seen this kind of flooding here. Of our 60 acres, I'd say about 59 of them are underwater, certainly. Wildlife Action Incorporated is headquartered in Mullins and has chapters in eight southeast states. Its mission is educating children and the community on anything and everything outdoors. They also host summer camps, corporate retreats, and weddings. We actually have a CPR course and a hunter education course this Saturday that we've had to move to our headquarters on Main Street Mullins because we certainly won't be able to have it. Fork Wretch Wildlife Refuge is located between the Lumber and Little Petey Rivers, making it vulnerable to floods. Bud CEO Frank Oliver says in his 18 years of being with the organization, he's only seen flooding this extensive during Hurricanes Matthew and Florence. We spent the day walking around part of the grounds in all 13 buildings, some historic completely flooded. Oliver says they prepared for the storm, but it certainly was a shock seeing water all the way up to his thigh. It brought back memories. It brought back some memories of a really difficult time for the organization because we are, you know, a small nonprofit volunteer organization. And when you take $100,000, $150,000 hits like this, it's, it's really hard to recuperate from. He says they'll have to wait until the water recedes to begin cleaning up. He says that includes tearing out walls, replacing outlets, power washing, and doing the chemical and drying process. Oliver says the silver lining is being fortunate enough to have help from community members, volunteers, and sponsors. It is tough, and you know, the, the more I look around, the more work I see, and the, the more money I know that's going to be necessary to get it back in place. But when you get down and you can't get up, you get up anyway, and that's really, you know, your best option. The refuge says it hopes to open back up in September, but is always looking for volunteers to come and help out. In Mullins, Adriana Lawrence, News 13.